Jethro Tull one more time. Can we get Hanson there on flute? You know this group could be the biggest attraction since the Stones. This is a team on Walker Blues. I said they called it Stormy Monday. I said the truth is Stop it! 
will get us into trouble. Like Michael. That was a piece of my very first album from 1968, a song called Nothing. It's easy to remember, it was actually called... <laughs> it was actually called My Sunday Feeling. But, since the memory cells have faded fast, we'd better move right along to something a little bit more recent and up to date from our second album in 1969. This is a song in which our drummer, Dan Perry, will maintain an almost constant and vigilant state of erectile excitement throughout the number leading to almost certainly involuntary emission in his underwear. This is called for a thousand mothers see you at the end. Good luck, Dylan.
Thank you very much. Thank you. That was called Living in the in the slightly more recent past, but not much. The next song is really the oldest one that we'll play during the evening. Not old because it's one of our ancient ones, but it was in fact probably written about 300 years ago by the mention of uh, J.S. Bach. Suddenly comes to mind Gary Brooker told you about that, didn't he? Who the fuck was J.S. Bach? Anyway, I just heard this on some compilation 4 CD box set back in 1968. <laughs> and thought it sounded rather pretty and set out to destroy it utterly. Which we'll now replicate for you here in person. It's called Beret. <laughs> Next one up is something in the, uh, I see we're doing drugs again now, is it one of those decades? <laughs> Tell you what, I have to breathe yeah. ten breaths for every one you take, and, uh, and I don't do that, so if you could possibly wait till you get out of 
the venue. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks. And you know I'm talking to you, and I'll be down there, and I'll ram it down your fucking throat if you don't pay attention to me. You hearing me good now, boy? Because I mean it. And I'm bad when I get pissed, okay? Thank you for your consideration, kindness, respect, and dead joints. Thank you. That's the end of this public service message. But enjoy yourselves on the way home. Thank you. Okay, this is a country blues piece uh, dedicated to two dead black men called Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. Uh, amongst others, they shaped many of, uh, many of the, uh, the interests in, uh, in that sort of music. Martin certainly was shaped by this and has reshaped himself again into a stunningly attractive marathon runner. Don't you think, girls? Hmm? You're not impressed, no? But I think your husband is, and that's worrying. <laughs> Especially since Martin is sporting a rather prominent red pimple on the end of his nose, cunningly disguised with ladies' makeup of a very expensive type. Anyway, this is called So Much Trouble and features a very expensive production light show. This is actually, we've spent most of the, most of the production money on this next effect. So it is a little dangerous. There are laser beams flying around. If something should, you know, come right in your eyes, please close your eyes or avert your gaze because we don't want any, any lawsuits, you know. So, but this is, this costs a lot of money, so please, please have it, please have a good time, please enjoy it. Andy and Dave will be responsible for these special effects. This is the harmonica. Hey, it's easy. Oh, did I say that? This is so much trouble. <laughs> trouble and thank you Andy and Dave and well the white coats were expensive they were honest this is a, a piece which uh, was from the benefit album originally and we'll play for you now it's thank you oh don't it's not that great back then we were doing things that we thought were experimental and probably even a little clever in the studio like flipping the tapes over to record this flute introduction backwards in the song called with you there to help me and of course we can't do that for you by switching the tapes because, of course, this is live. But with the benefit of all modern technology, with all the technical effects that have been developed over the years, we're proudly able to bring you a recreation of that backwards flute solo on the beginning. Thank you very much. Okay.
Thank you for paying attention. Some of you must be university students. And I know Andy was once. Yes, you're a college boy, Andy. I can tell by that vest. I don't know what that means. This is uh, Andy's intro too. Andy Giddings on keyboards, say hi. i 
Thank you, by the way, for uh, coming back to see us, and my apologies again for the failure to play last time, but it was uh, bronchitis, which is uh, a nasty thing, and uh, I only had it for a couple of days before the new antibiotics took hold. And I have some of them in my toilet bag, in case anyone would like to look at my toilet bag and arrest me for being in possession of amoxicillin, just in case it should happen again. Of course, I do take them anally, so... Hey, I'm only kidding. This is uh, a song which has a very fiendishly difficult beginning, and just so I don't have to cope with it totally alone, we have some uh, possibly reluctant members of the audience up here to indulge in a little five or six part vocal harmony singing in the introduction to this song from 1976. They are, as I speak, receiving almost expert consultancy and instruction from some elderly gentleman who should know better. This is a piece called Songs from the Woods. Let me bring you songs from the woods To make you feel much better than you could know Better than you could know Dust you down from tip to toe Dust you down from tip to toe Show you how the garden grows Show you how the garden grows Hold you steady as you go Hold steady as you join the chorus if you can It'll make of you an honest man Let me bring you love from the fields Bobby's red and roses fill with summer rain To heal a wound and still the pain That threatens again and again As it threatens on every Oh, my God. 
she was a middle distance away. The translation wasn't clear. To be a bloody instinctive hero. International competition of the year. She was a good enough reason for a party. Well, you couldn't keep on the bottom of her dry fire. While she ran a perfect circle. And then she wore a perfect smile. In Budapest.
Yeah, but she didn't brace on table. In fact, she wasn't that much on top. Yes, and her legs went on forever. Why staring up and everything to do? Her heart was spinning to the west end.
thank you very much, thank you. Thanks, that was a hot night in Budapest, followed by a piece of uh, uh, flute meandering, untitled. This next piece features the tin whistle, otherwise known as the penny whistle, because I guess it used to cost a penny once upon a time, before those days of rampant inflation. Probably dollar fifty now might get you a tune on a good night. This may or may not be one of those. This is from the, the album of 1973, the name of which I prefer we don't mention. It's okay. Try this.
tonight. You've been very kind and very understanding. Good of you to come. Good night from Andy Giddings on keyboards. Good night, Andy. Good night, Andy. Ladies up big good night from Don Perry, drummer Don Perry with a funny hat. Don Perry, good night, good night, Don. A special good night from David Pegg on bass guitar, David Pegg. And as always on lead guitar, Martin Lancelot Barre. Martin Barre, good night, Martin. And a special good night to our special guest for all of this tour tonight, to Prokel Harum, if they're still here. Good night, Prokel boys! They are the humorous guest. See you again, drive home safely. Good night. Hey! <laughs>